Olivia, answer me right now if you're awake. Good morning, Mom. I'm sorry for missing your calls last night. I went to bed earlier than usual. What's up? We need to talk about your baby. Oh, of course. It's only been a week since I found out about the baby, so I haven't had the chance to tell anybody yet. I'm pregnant. Can you believe it? We're going to have a baby. I know you're excited. I was the same when I got pregnant for the first time. Well, it makes me want to cry just thinking about it. Thank you, Mom. I truly am ecstatic. It's like a dream come true. I've always wanted to be a mother, and now it's finally happening. I can't help but feel overwhelmed with happiness. Moreover, I already feel this incredible bond with my little one, even though I haven't met them yet. I can't wait to hold them in my arms and shower them with love. It's going to be such an incredible journey. Wow, really? Yes, Mom. I'm so, so excited that I've already been thinking about baby names even though we don't know the gender yet. Do you want to hear them? I'd love to have your opinion. Hold on, Olivia. You're getting ahead of yourself. I'm not coming here to hear anything about your stupid child. I'm not having any plan of encouraging you to keep it either. Forget about baby names. You're not keeping it. What? What are you trying to say? Wanna know why? Then listen carefully to what I'm gonna say. When my son told me you were pregnant, I immediately booked an appointment with a psychic. She gave me extremely crucial information about the baby's future. For Christ's sake, Olivia, you have to get rid of this baby as soon as possible. What? What could the psychic have possibly said for you to want me to get this rid of this baby? I know it's painful for a mother to give up her baby, but it'll only be good for all of us. I promise that you will thank me in the future. No, Vicky, this is not going to happen. Are you out of your mind? How could you ask me to abort a perfectly healthy life? This is your grandchild and it's only one month old. That's why I'm telling you to do it as soon as possible before it's too late. It's still just a tiny bean. So the procedure wouldn't be too difficult for you and then it won't be a big deal anymore. Oh my goodness. That was the cruelest thing you've ever said. Mom, one month or one day makes no difference. Maybe you find abortions easy, but I don't want to take the life of a fetus growing inside me. Olivia, don't freak out, okay? We will finally work things out. What can just a little fetus do? It's useless. So this is the best time to get rid of it. You're asking me for an unbelievable request. All because the psychic told you something that was probably made up. Olivia, I need you to pull yourself together before we continue this conversation. You're getting emotional. It's not even that big a deal. Mom, you're a mother too. You should be the last person in the world to ask me such a thing. I thought you would be thrilled to hear about your first grandchild. But here you are, asking me to kill it? What is wrong with you? Everything happens for a reason, I told you. The psychic gave me very promising information. This needs to be done, Olivia. Fine. Tell me what is the reason that this is happening. What information did the psychic give you? I've been in touch with the psychic for a long time. She's known for her accurate predictions, and she's never been wrong for me either. Yesterday, right when I walked into her apartment, she immediately felt a bad energy. She said that this new baby would be a jinx for our family, and somebody will end up dead. Yeah? And? What do all of these mean? And she said it was most likely going to be me. We need to take this seriously. My life is on the line here. Mom, I hate to break it to you, but everybody dies. You will die whether or not this baby is born. Don't you dare mock such a clairvoyant being. I know she's right. She's always right. And she said there's a possibility I could die even before meeting your baby. I can't let that happen to me. Now you're the emotional one. I promise you that you will not die because of my baby. What you need to do now is to see a therapist instead of a psychic. Everything is going to be fine and we'll both forget about this conversation by tomorrow, okay? Wait! You don't understand, Olivia. No matter what you or Mark says, you will lose the baby in two weeks. I'll make sure of it. Are you threatening me? It's not a threat if you do it yourself. I'm showing you kindness by giving you a chance to get rid of it yourself in a safe way. But if that doesn't happen, I can't promise what I'll do to you. I cannot believe that these words are coming out of your mouth, mom. All of these things are not rational and reasonable at all. It's the product of your imagination. You're out of your mind and you really need help. You need to realize that having this baby is not an option. You need to listen to me as my daughter-in-law, Olivia. Trust that I know what's best for you and your family. Listen, mom. 
I always respected you despite all of your superstitious beliefs. But what you're saying right now is crossing the line. I hate to do this, but I would rather get a divorce than get rid of my baby. It's just not happening. Honey, even if you get a divorce, you would still need to get an abortion. It's not about your marriage. It's about me or the baby. And we all know what the answer to that is. You cannot let your mother-in-law be in the brink of danger and not help anything. Hate to break it to you, mom, but I don't care about what your psycho friend said. I'm keeping the baby and I'm willing to protect it at all costs. Don't you dare say another word about your plans with my baby. You'll regret it. My son won't let you treat his mother like this. I know for sure he would choose his mother over his unborn child. You just wait until I speak to him. Go ahead and speak to him. I'm sure he'll be just as disappointed in you as I am. You're not the only one who loves him, mom. And I'm not going to let you take him away from me. You're making a huge mistake, Olivia. You'll regret this for the rest of your life. I'm not going to regret anything. I'm going to be a mother. And that's the most important thing in the world to me. You're too young to be a mother. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. And I'm your mother-in-law. I have lived for more than 50 years myself. I know what's best for my family. And you too. Really? I'm not so sure about that, mom. You are just thinking about yourself. My baby and I are nothing to you, right? Anyway, I'm old enough to make my own decisions. And I've made my decision. I'm keeping this baby. Fine. But don't come crying to me when you realize you've made a mistake. I won't be crying. I'll still raise him happily and celebrate the birth of my child. You stupid daughter-in-law. Just wait for it. I'll make you give up on that stupid decision. And don't think that you can get away with it, Olivia. Honey, I cannot spend another second with your mom. What's going on now, Olivia? I'm having enough with your constant complaints. You better do it quickly. I'm dying for a nap right now. I'm sorry, but she's literally insane. For the past week, she's been spamming me with propaganda of death and bloody fetuses. She's driving me crazy. And babe, I think she tried to push me down the stairs when she came over a few days ago. Thankfully, I was holding on tight to the railing, but this can't continue. She's trying to get me to have a miscarriage. You have to stop her. Well, yeah, so what? Just do as she says. Listen, mom's always right. You're always wrong, of course. She is my one and only mother. And if she says that the child brings bad luck, so just accept it and abort him. You say that he's just a small fetus, so aborting will have no significant harm, right? Of course not, Mark. This is our child. And moreover, this needs to end. I tried to ignore her efforts, but she's getting more and more aggressive. I'm scared every day wondering what mom's next plan is. Can you please just ask her mom to stop all of her crazy plans? Can you do that for your wife and your child? Well, Olivia, I talked to her this morning when I stopped by my parents' house, and I have this idea. I think this idea would work for everyone. And what is that idea? I hope that it's not as crazy as your mother's. Of course not. How dare you say that to your husband? So you just think about this. You're only 27. You're still pretty young. Do you think that you're ready to be a mother? So to make things good for everyone, getting an abortion is the best option so far. You can just easily have another then, and my mother can finally be saved. What an intelligent husband I am, right? I can't believe you're saying this now, Mark. You are risking your child's life. And don't you say that you also believe what the psychic said? Why not? It has been confirmed several times by my mother. It wouldn't be false. And one more thing. I'm listening. To be honest, I'm not ready to be a father yet. When you announced me the news, I just didn't want you to get upset and make a fuss. So I just went along with it. But if this baby is causing so much division in our family, so of course, it's not worth the attention and care from this house. And it's important to me that I get my mom's approval and help with my first child. So please try to use your brain this time. If you want, we can always try and have another. It's not difficult at all to me. Does that sound good? What on earth did they tell you this morning? I wanted you to stand up to your mom, not get on her side. Well, I am their blooded son. How could I not obey my parents' wishes? I can't let my only mother die because of a single fetus. And who do you think you are? Are you my mom? You're just an ignorant and stupid wife. You and your baby are basically of no use to me. My goodness, that's it. 
You and your family are out of your minds. I can't believe just because of a simple saying from a psychic, you all can treat me like this. Come on, Olivia. Don't play the victim here. We do nothing wrong. And this thing is just a fetus. Moreover, it will grow up to be a jinx. We can't risk everything on a tiny bean. What if I say no? Are you going to start plotting my miscarriage? Yes. So what's wrong about that? Well, I guess it's settled then. What do you mean by that? I did not see this coming. My dear husband, who made a vow to take care of me for the rest of my life, is now hurting me mentally and physically. How could you say that to your husband? Could you even consider what I'm doing right now? I'm trying to prevent you from getting hurt in the future. Instead of throwing your dirty words on my face, you'd better thank me for everything that my family and I have done for you all these years. Yes. But your mother has already hurt me in many ways. And if forcing a woman to abort her dear child is what your family grants me? So sorry. I don't need that. It's just the cruelest thing I have seen in my entire life. You're such a thankless wife. I'm starting to feel regretful right now. Because I chose you to be my wife. And now you're messing my whole family. And my mother's being upset and worried. Are you happy now? Well, okay. You know what? Fine. As you wish, I'll get an abortion. But I also want to get a divorce. You're really giving up the baby? OMG. Thank you, Olivia. You're saving my mom's life. You don't even care about getting divorced. Insane! I don't know how I got married to a man like you. Well, these are just my priorities, okay? And you better know your place in this house. You're not that important. So don't be so shocked about that. Anyway, to express my thanks, I'll grant you a drive to the hospital tomorrow for the abortion, okay? You must feel really lucky to receive help from me. Because I don't do that very often. <laughs> no, I want to do that by myself. Just give me the money for it. What? You reject my offer? How dare you? But whatever, it's better because I can spend my time on much more valuable things. However, good luck with the journey. The divorce petition is on the table over there. I have already signed it. Sign it, we're over, I'm free. Okay? Yeah, okay. Whatever. I don't care anymore. But just give me the money for the abortion. That's the only thing I need right now. Hey, Olivia, I heard that you're back in town after five years. Is that true? Who is this? It's Mark, your ex-husband. Oh, hey, Mark. Well, you're right. I am back in town. And you have a kid with you? How do you know that? I saw you and a kid passing by the diner this morning when I was eating breakfast. Oh, what a coincidence. Olivia, I really hope I'm wrong. But is that my child? We have the same ginger features. So I'm just wondering. I won't lie to you. And yes, Mark, you are the father. Oh my god, Olivia. I thought you got an abortion all those years ago. Of course, I didn't. I was just pretending to go through with what he wanted. But the truth is, I never had an abortion. I kept the baby and raised him by myself. So he's my child only, not yours. I cannot believe this. You lied to us? I even sent you money for the abortion. What about the abortion documents you sent us? I forged it all and kept the money for childcare. How dare you lie to us, Olivia? Why? I simply made a decision. The only way I could get out of your family was to pretend to get an abortion. But look at us now. I have a kid and your mom is still breathing. If there's anything that happens to my mother, I'll sue you, Olivia. Sue me for what? For living my own life and making my own decisions? You don't have any solid reasoning to sue me. No, I'll sue you for stealing my money. You didn't use my money for an abortion as you promised. You are so petty. It's been five years and we promised to stay away from each other after the divorce. I only made that promise because I thought you had gotten the abortion. So now what? Now that you know the truth about the baby, what are you gonna do? Kill him? I don't know yet, but I bet my mother's friend will know what to do. The psychic, I mean. You're telling me you still believe her even though your mom should technically be dead right now? I don't totally trust her. The abortion was just an additional preventive measure. Stop sugarcoating it, Mark. We all know your mom is blindly superstitious. If she wants to buy a new house, she'll go to the psychic. Name her baby? Go to the psychic. Decide a wedding date? Go to the psychic. 
She's been letting her psychic rule her and your entire life. She needs to get help. Don't make fun of her way of life. She's perfectly fine. Listen, all I need is for you to bring that kid to my house. I'll bring him to the psychic and take care of it. I don't even want to know what you mean by take care of it. I have no reason to follow your demands. That's my son. No, he's not. You lost custody of this child the day you gave up on us. And for your information, I'm getting married next month, which is why I'm back in town. Once we're married, my husband will become the father of my child and will move far away. Where are you moving to? I'm not telling you. I want you to stay away from me and my son. And why did you suddenly show your attention to my child like that? Is there anything wrong with your family or what? Well, of course not. I'm just missing my lovely child. And don't try to switch the topic. You cannot separate me from my child. You can go marry whoever you want, but the kid needs to stay with his father. The father who wanted to kill him when he was still a fetus? Don't be ridiculous. I know you have nothing but bad intentions with him. Let me be clear. I protected him once, so I can absolutely protect him again from your not cases. When will you realize that you guys are the jinx, Mark? I won't let you get away with him. What a shame! You cannot do anything to hurt me now. You don't know where I am or where I go, Mark. Don't be so happy. I'm perfectly capable of keeping track of you. You're so sick. Go away and leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere until I get my son back. He's not your son. He's my son and I'm not giving him up. You're making a big mistake. You'll regret this for the rest of your life. I won't regret anything. I'm going to raise my son to be a good man and he'll never know anything about you. You can't keep me away from him forever. We'll see about that. Now, get lost. I don't want to see your face. Olivia, how dare you keep the baby? You're trying to get me killed. I'm assuming this is Mrs. Vicky. Yes, it's your mother-in-law. You mean ex-mother-in-law? I no longer have any relation to your family. You are harboring my grandchild. You lied to us about everything and ran away. Your grandchild? Oh, Mrs. Vicky, you're so funny. After forcing me to get an abortion, now you want to call my kid your grandchild? That name is insulting coming from you. Listen, I don't have time to argue with you. After my son told me you two were in town, I immediately met up with my psychic. And you know what she said? The kid renewed himself and is coming back with good luck. So now we need him to make our family wealthy. You've had him for five years. It's only right for him to spend the next five years with his dad. Excuse me? I can't believe you're tossing around this child's future for your selfish whims. And I already know that Mark's become broken now. His stupid business failed terribly, resulting in a huge debt. Therefore, you even had to sell your house to pay for his debt. He's so embarrassed to say that to me. Such a pathetic man. So that's why you listened to the psychic and begged me to bring the child back, is that right? It's not just for me, or for my son. I heard you're getting married soon. You'll be able to make a new family with your new husband and won't have any time for this kid. We'll take him off your hands while you settle in with your new family. And actually, we don't have any money or a house to live in, so the child is the only thing I can count on right now. Please bring the child back to us. What a pity your family has to come to this. But it serves you just right. By the way, my fiancé is incredibly happy to raise this kid with me, Mrs. Vicky. Unlike you all, he loves me and my child unconditionally. Go find a good luck charm somewhere else. You cannot run away from us for the rest of your life. Nobody's running away from you, Mrs. Vicky. Then why are you moving to another state? Why don't you stay here in town with us? That way, we can both see the kid. Just so you know... I don't make my decisions based on you or your son. I'm living my life as I please. I'm moving because my fiancé's company is getting relocated. Your husband owns a company? Yes, he does. I'm marrying the sweetest, most gentleman person there is. He saw me for who I was and wasn't afraid of raising kids with a young woman like your son was. How dare you replace my son so quickly? My flight's about to take off, and I'm leaving you and your family for good. No! You have to leave your son behind! He needs to stay with us! Olivia, get off that plane right now! 
Wherever you go, I will find you, Olivia. How? Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you go ask her psychic where I'm moving to? I bet she'll have all the answers. You know what, Olivia? I will ask her and I'll hunt you down and bring that boy home. Bring him home? He's not a dog, Vicky. He's my son and he's coming with me. You can't take him away from us. He belongs here. He belongs with me. He's my child and I'm the one who's going to raise him. You're making a mistake, Olivia. You'll regret this. I won't regret anything. I'm going to give my son a better life and I'm not going to let you stop me. And yeah, just continue your evil plot. I'll try my best to protect my son out of your sight forever. But for now, goodbye Mrs. Vicky. Hope we'll never have to meet each other again. I can't believe Vicky actually went back to her side gig to find me. Obviously, there was no way her psychic would know where I was. Mrs. Vicky never ended up finding me. But during my first month away, I kept getting random messages and calls from an unknown number. After picking up one of the calls, I found out it was Mark. I think he was jealous that I got married to a man who was way more successful than him. He kept sending me sappy love songs and poems. How ironic! He thought I was too young to have a kid. Yet he's the one acting like he's still in high school. Eventually, he got really angry because I never replied to his messages. Instead, I started receiving threatening messages like, If you don't send me your new address, I'll track you down myself and knock down your door when I get there. But I knew it wouldn't happen because Mark doesn't have the kind of money or skill to find me. As for me, I finally settled in with my new family. Two months after our wedding, I got pregnant with a baby girl. My new husband was so loving and supportive throughout my pregnancy and my son loves his sister so much. When my son turned 15, I finally told him the truth about his biological father. I didn't share exact details but he knows enough to never want to go back to his hometown. Now, I've decided to forget the past and enjoy my life with my new family. For anybody with crazy mother-in-laws, I advise you to leave the relationship when you see the first red flag. The relationship will never be worth all the hurt they will put you through.